What's going on everybody? This is Super Robot Ed and today we're going to talk about the HasLab Transformers Victory Death Source. Now, I've been seeing pictures of this. It does look good. I think a lot of people that get this are going to be pleased. The consensus is that Hasbro has fixed a lot of problems that marred the Star Saber release as far as the quality. Now, I haven't heard anything else yet. Uh, no craziness that Star Saber gave us, but this looks like they kind of saw the error of their ways with Star Saber and may have fixed it. But for my people in the UK, this is not, you know, it's probably not, <laughs> they probably don't want to see this because they got to wait so long to get him, which kind of befuddles me. We still need to discuss that and just having it just brushed under the rug when you have a whole country. When I say country, UK, that's more than country in a sense. A whole area land mass that's not going to get the figure. Why is that? Something, something's missing with all that for them to have to wait that long for them to put the things are just going to sit there. But that's neither here nor there. We we'll look at the pictures of the figure in the box that you saw in the first part. And this is the back of the box. Here is Holy, the fire truck, people and boater. People and boater are from the Death Source set, which would be the ambulance and the boat. Um, with the uh, breast of the lion, the uh, wings that are uh, uh, chromed out are held by a tab and friction. Interesting, interesting. Um, but here he is. I always think of him as upgraded Soundwave because he has tapes, basically. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you look at his face, he's, his face matches the Decepticon symbol. Uh, there's the Kaiju chicken neck in the back. The wings are nice. Nothing really hollow, which is, uh, you know, I, yeah, I gotta hit, I gotta, I, I, I gotta figure out how to get this. Um, you know, if the cards fall right and I get them, of course you'll see them. It'll be a surprise for my subscribers. I don't ask for anything, and I don't give away anything so if I get this figure it'll be a special treat for everyone and I will do an in-depth review of this as well as a comparison with the MMC Death Source but I will admit seeing the weapons seeing how everything fits it looks easy now the weight I don't know because like I say MMC's uh well at least the version of Death Source that has both Breastmasters is like heavy it's almost on Chagokin level but there's some things on this figure that I like, but I would love to hear how heavy it is, but I think it's going to be okay. I mean, Star Saber wasn't bad. You know, I still think it could be better, but that's neither here nor there. Now with this here, I hope I'm going to, I'm going to find a way to get him now. Don't, don't worry about that. I'm going to find a way to get him. And here are the Breast of Force, Breast Lion and Breast the Eagle. I don't have different names, but I prefer to call them that um, because, you know, I watched the show long before people even knew that Japanese Transformers existed. And um, yeah, you know, now I will admit I do prefer the look of the lion from MMC, but for functionality and the way that he looks, he does look more the part of G1. And I do love the bird because the bird turns into, you know, basically folds up into a tape. And that's basically what Star Saber, I mean, I'm victory, uh, 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 Death Star is this. He's Soundwave. <laughs> Which, if you go by lore, originally Soundwave is supposed to be the leader of the Decepticon. So he is sitting on the throne, and the throne looks really nice. It's got blood red, looks like it's alive in a sense. You can store on the weapons on the back, and they look so nice on the back. They blend in well. You can see where all the chain and everything fits in the Halibred sword, uh, which is also accurate to the animation. And of course, the bird sitting on the perch with the Decepticon symbol. Yeah, this is nice. And I'm sure getting the Kaiju mode is a uh, Kaiju Chicken Space mode is a hell of a lot easier than it is with MMC. But he looks exactly like he should, and I and I'm and I'm and I'm very pleased with this. And I, I'll have to make a way. That's all I'm gonna say. I'll leave it at that. You'll see it when you see it. But yeah, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna find a way to get him. Don't worry about that. So thank you for letting me waste five minutes of your time. But we're gonna talk. Um, I I have to admit, I hope and I hope and pray that this is a good figure. I really do. Just for. The sake of a lot of things, you know, because, hey, this is what we asked for. Now, they already told us we're not going to get any more Japanese Transformers. So that's off the books. I do believe that anything for 40th anniversary is going to be some type of something dealing with G1 if they do another Haslab. And I don't know. We haven't heard anything yet. We know we're getting a Commander class off this run. And so, you know, that means leaves out Megatron and a few others. But, hey, you know what? It's all good. You know, we're, we're dealing with this company and I'm in until I get the figures that I want and then I'm out. But unfortunately, reactive reactivate has kind of pulled the purse strings. 
So what are your thoughts? Leave them down in the comments below. Are you excited to get it? Are you not? Do you care? Do you don't care? Just let me know. Hey, please like, subscribe, and share. This is Super Robot Ed bringing more news reviews. Bye-bye.